Doors and stages are limited even more. No, yeah, this, is, this, 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 is, this is where this is where champions truly become champions, all right? Yep. It's when you're playing specifically Brawl characters on Final Destination. We finally have it back into best of five territory. Esam versus Kraftis. Is he dead already? Nope, not able to get the down air. Never mind. Yeah, not just yet. And he's playing a volley whopping on the Kraftis to start off this. But Kraftis was really known for his edge guarding. So. And Pikachu is not one of those characters that can be edge guarded so easily. So I want to see the creative ways practice finds a way to secure the stock. I was gonna say it's looking like they're definitely like really swinging on each other, man. Both these edge guards looking insane. I mean, both these characters are pretty incredible at edge guarding in their own right. Pikachu, of course, with those back air strings and thunder. Sonic, of course, with homing attack, back air, up B, all those tools in itself. Forward air on top of everything else. These characters definitely know how to body off the ledge. Not so familiar with getting bodied off the ledge until they had to fight each other. It's one of the reasons I actually enjoy this matchup quite a bit or enjoy watching it in that way, especially with Sonic players as aggressive as Kraftis is, is, yeah. which is not something very common with too many Sonic players. Going for the hard read with the up smash on the way in. No yeah, true forward air stuff. This, this guy tried to read so, and I like that wall jump just to get out of Esam's situation he did get hit back on stage but not gonna not gonna die for it and he sam is now struggling trying to read practice oh, aggressive options there you go no aggressive option gonna be dash attack on the way in right there that move does in fact kill for some reason because you dash attack is immensely strong on top of his up throw among other things two more things that just make the character the amazing top tier yeah. that he is and of course here's he the has problem. a hard head man he does, yeah, I guess that does make sense. I also like Esam going for the up throw out of the, uh, I mean, not Esam going for the up throw. I like because that back air takes the stock, no tech that close to the wall. I love Kraftis actually DIing Esam's down throw up to ensure that he can't set up the, uh, whatchamacallit, to ensure he can't set up the, uh, the neutral air loops. Yeah. It's really smart. Sonic's weight actually is a very good proponent of that, but not when you don't have a jump. Oh! oh good weight. Wow, yeah. that time going low. Beautiful adaptation on the part of Kraft is doing. There was there was literally nothing else he could have done there. But oh, besides go that, low, that's something he could have done. That <laughs> it, was it. Yeah. Oh my God, Reggie. What is there to Took say? That that was some WrestleMania ish. Yeah, that. Gotta watch your legs, man. <laughs> Get his legs. Let's trip him up. <laughs> Yeah, Pikachu's definitely got, you know, some of those lightning Bobby Lashley world famous spears. That dash attack, nothing to sleep on, especially the forward smash too. Not killing Sonic from all the way downtown on the other side of the level. But yeah, that down air, easy pickings. Air yeah. dodging, just not close enough to the ledge. No, yeah, Esam's yeah. trying to deliver the hurt business right here. And oh. taking the stop. Yeah. That's not a good position to be. That's no. certainly not. No, yeah, look, look at this, look at this. That's a devil and a devil on my he, he was at zero. Imagine dying at zero in the tunes. I can't relate. <laughs> oh. Amazing execution by you, Sam. Yeah, first stock. What more did you want? Huh. He does this... He does this for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Yeah, so he, he just gets out of bed in the morning for it, dude. He just, yeah, he just grinds those loops, man. Yes, he does. So, wow. game one. Game one going to East Ham. That was just really nasty, you know, like getting that spike at the beginning there. Like, I, this is exactly why I wanted to watch, like, not only this particular matchup, this particular matchup Ready? with these players. That's yeah. what I wanted to see, like, these aggressive edge guarders. That is what I wanted to see, these efficient edge guarders as well. You know, Sonic's not, Kraftis here is not just going for those timeouts against Pikachu. Oh, He's we, playing wait, aggressively. Wait, wait, this? I know, I was just going to say it. We finally got it. I was just going to say it. It's not Smashville. <laughs> I don't think I have ever commentated a single Smash set in my life on this stage. Well, gotta get started. <laughs> I'm so grateful for that chance right here. Yoshi's Island Brawl, ladies and gentlemen. Hazard's on, by the way, which means not only is that platform in the middle going to be tilting like you see now, depending on the weight that you hold on it, 
but I do believe not Randall, but Randy, Randy the little ghost platform will be coming up off the sides of these plat uh, off the sides of these ledges every now and again. When he comes, I don't know. I wasn't a brawl player. I don't know if he functions off a clock or if he just shows up randomly when people are off stage. But it's it is random. Thank you, yeah. Devin. Oh yeah, I see him on the left, right over there on the stage, retreating already. Beautiful, beautiful. I'm so happy to be able to do this. And so far, it's working out beautifully for both of these players. Neither of them taking a stock until Esam gets the dash attack. Yeah, he gets the stock right there. And you know what's not random? That tilting platform in the middle. It's not. It's tilting me. I will say that. Hopefully it's not tilting these two players, which I'm sure might be the intention by Kraftis here. And there's Randy coming in clutch for, uh, coming in clutch for Pikachu right there. I think his name is Randy, oh, if I'm not mistaken yeah. for the Smash lore. Yeah, yeah. I'm pretty uh, sure, never. I think Randall is the Yoshi story one, but whatever. I'll, I'll just call him the ghost. Yeah, no, I know he's the Yoshi story one. I just wanted but to make sure. I thought, like, he had a one, cousin named yeah. Randy. I thought that was the Smash lore. Nah, anyway, we, we, we call him, we call him Black Waltz. All right, sure. Yeah. Oh! <laughs> I'll just I'll just call him the ghost for now to make everybody happy. Ghost coming oh. in clutch for Esam, which does have ledges. I didn't know that. He just grabbed yeah. the ledge on him. They do have ledges. Do not know and, that. Uh, are the shy guys active in here? I'm pretty sure they are. Are what is what active? The shy guy. Yes, I do believe you can hit those. Yes. Mm. yes and I think can. those will affect the stale negation chart as well. Think of yes. them as basically just more balloons. Yes. They're basically just Smashville balloons with a face. Correct. <laughs> oh, okay. what a good catch. Them right there. Oh, oh my god. Ghost coming in clutch. Let's go, Randy. Yeah, <laughs> no, it's not taking it right there. <laughs> nice, nice. There you go, Esam. Familiar territory for him. He, of course, was a brawl player. That is where his come up was really most solidified. And the ghost coming in clutch for him again. I feel like it's really been making great work for Esam more than crafters throughout this game, Reggie. Yeah, no, it definitely has. Esam has done wonders with it. Every time he's like about to just die, the ghost just appears for him. Like, straight up, right? It's appear. I'm not going crazy. It's appearing more for him when he's off the level than it is for crafters. Yeah. The ghost Tell plays favorites. Crazy. It's definitely biased. Yeah, they play favorites, man. I wouldn't. That's bias against the non Nintendo character. It makes sense to me, I guess. There you go. Yeah. Practice, though. Alright. Okay. Almost got the combo. And he landed on that one, too. He's actually really affecting the match a lot more than I thought he was gonna. But regardless, center stage once again. Tilted, uh, tilted layout at the bottom, slants right down there, oh, catching yeah. him on the roll. The goes into it. Nice. That was a great call. And it was, honestly. Those callouts in that whole game were really, really good. I mean, Esam had a lot more time to really think that stuff up because, I don't know if you noticed, literally half the time when he was recovering, that ghost came in clutch for him to grab the ledge, especially with a recovery as mobile, uh, as mobile as Pikachu's. It's that beautiful forward smash on the spin dash gets the stock. It just gave him all the time in the world and frankly just more time to react and think up of a game plan on how he was going to just out neutral this Sonic right now. Yo, the dash attack falling up out of the forward air. My god, Pikachu's confirms are so nutty. Yeah, no, he sounds up 2 0. That he is, my friend, that he is. So, he's going to just. He'll be moving on to Grands if he wins the next set. And. Trying to face Marco again. Mm hmm. We'll Just take a look at him. Take a look at this right here how this stock was taken. Homing attack, running up, and beautiful F tilt out of the turnaround. Dash cancel. Beautiful by Kraftis. Definitely a tech you need to know how to do if you're going to be a Sonic player is how to get those tilts out most efficiently out of dashes. You're the fastest character in the game by a full unit over Captain Falcon on the ground. I mean, you definitely know how to, you definitely got to know how to get your, how to get your tilts out as fast as possible. Yeah, no, you definitely do. FD right, once again, was, Reggie. Yeah, well, FD once again. It wasn't a bad stage pick. Let's see if Kraft is just no, has his adaptation in line. It's good for both of these characters. Look, I see like a lot of stages that Pikachu likes does are the same for Sonic, so it's really hard for the counter pick. Yeah. Yeah, that's true. I mean, FD is definitely an interesting one to say the least. A lot of people do not like this stage against Sonic because they want they sometimes they like to have platforms to 
you know, sort of make his disadvantage a little more predictable or his options out of it, I should say. Say, like, on Battlefield. Combo him easier on them when they actually do manage to be able to get in on a campy yeah. Sonic, which a lot of them are, especially on Wi-Fi. Kraftus, on the other hand, he's a lot more aggressive. I think Esam knows that, and I think he recognizes that those platforms would sort of just interfere with interfere with his own, like, sort of evasive game and playing around him, which Pikachu has more opportunities to do as the small character that he is with that immaculate edge guard, two thunders in a row. So I definitely don't blame Esam wanting to... Uh, uh, picking the stage again after uh, after Kraftus' bans. I mean, after Craft uh, is picking the stage, I should say, after Esam's bans. My mistake. Oh, Marion to us. That's nice. That is a true combo, too. Not many people do know that. that that's Sonic, wild, if that's yeah, true. Yeah, that is true. And it's one of the newer combos that he got from the Sonic boss. Makes earlier sense. On. I won't lie, I mean, like, people say that Ultimate is neutral layer of the game. A lot of characters have amazing confirms out of their neutral layers. Yeah. Why would, why would Sonic be? If you don't have a good neutral you're not a good character in Ultimate. Facts. Oh, just missing this. A lot of lag on that neutral beat if you manage to dodge it. Alright. Keeping the pressure on with the homing attack. It was immaculate in all sorts of situations. Corner pressure included. Get missing there. Dude, that's so risky. That, like, Pikachu of all characters is so risky to be going for those kinds of edge guards on, man, because he's just keeping you off stage without a jump forever. You're gonna die eventually. Yeah, and great recognition from Esam to just turn that around. Yeah, dude, Pikachu, you give him an inch, he takes a mile, my friend. Off stage against this character is so unpleasant. He will just hang on that ledge, wait to back air you, wait to thunder you, get you in that perfect position with a back air into a thunder. If you go below him, he can just down air you because that spikes in this game now. It never spiked in Smash beforehand. You do not want to overextend, not only on stage, but off the level against Pikachu. That is where he will just not let you play the game, even more so than he already does. Yeah, no, Pikachu is really impressive here. And trying to use the Thunderwalls to just stop Crafty. for good job for Crafty for dodging it. And now trying to have his turn to rack a percent. Will he be able to take at least this game here? Hopefully, my friend. Uh, hopefully for his sake. Doesn't, doesn't want to get 3-0'd right here for sure on the way down would have been a confirm right there out of that neutral air for sure probably a down smash at least facing the wrong direction yeah. back air not going to do it though holding up great delay it's so important by craft is to delay that on the way back oh but the hitbox of the pikachu up b able to secure his way back into stage control once again that wonky side b intercepting the homing attack yeah. oh man and now they're on last hit situation uh, holding back, shifting his hurt box a little bit with the neutral B Thunder Jolt. Only Esam would yeah. be doing that on purpose. The dash attack, that's game yeah. set and match. Yeah, it definitely is. Wow. What? Just a nice 3 0. And now Esam waits in grand final with against Marvelous Marco. Good yeah, showing from practice. Oh, for sure. I mean, if there's any player to lose 3 0 to in this bracket, it's definitely Esam. For sure, like not one, not one to sleep on at any given moment. And there's that dash attack kill confirmed, like you saw before. Beautiful stuff. Honestly, like, is what it is. I mean, Kraft is top three, made the money, made 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 that payout, got back to the best of five territory, got top three in a very stacked side event. I gotta say, you know, like yeah, let's before, before we even talk about Esam, before we talk about Esam, Pikachu, and more amazing Pikachu is got. Let's clap it up for Kraftus. Let's do that. Let's clap it up for. Clap it up for Kraftus right there. Great Playing challenge. aggressive Sonic. That's Man, not you, you don't see that nowadays. 